Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of the PC Building Simulator. And I think we're gonna make ourselves a little build today because I feel in the mood to build something. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be awesome. Uh, right, so what should we get started with? Uh, Um, we could start with Fishy L. I think I'm gonna do that. I don't think I made these two different days, so I guess they're pretty much alike, so... <laughs> I think we'd be good. No matter what we pick. Uh, right as these are screwed in here as well. Right at... Oh. Like that. Looks cool. Uh alright, I'm I'm being distracted here. <laughs> alright, uh let's see Fishy L. Uh and he's used prime motherboard. Very nice choice, uh, I like it. I picked it myself. <laughs> nah, but seeing as it's like uh, gray, white, and black, it goes with like anything. A perfect choice. For most things. Alright, open up all of the RAM slots. Making sure we can put some some good stuff in there later on. Um, Righto, we went with the E700K. So, obviously. <laughs> and... We went with two team group, 8 gigs, 3000 megahertz. RAM sticks. Also white, fitting any color scheme you would dream of. That's why you should go with black and white, honestly, because when I throw in the color here, everything will look nice. That's kind of what I like about it. Alright, and we also need to throw in one of these. Not fit it under there though, because it has a heatsink. All right. Um, uh, at least I'm sure I can't. Uh, I kind of want to double check that now, just because. Okay, I stand corrected. Apparently, you can. Okay, I'm gonna put it in there and. Because that way is totally invisible, and I love that. I can't say that enough. That is what I really like about the M.2. They're invisible. <laughs> it's almost like you have storage built in on your motherboard, kind of like modern laptops have. But it's still swappable, and you can exchange it. It is awesome. Alright, uh, graphics card. There we go. Awesome. Uh, what else did I take for you? Uh, and... Did I not get you any cooler? Yeah, I did. Uh, X73. Alright, uh... Awesome. 
Right, we need to remove that fan in order to put it there. There we go. Right. And... That fan, though. I want to put it up here. I mean, might as well use it since we have it. Oh. Well, that was a, a little bit of a surprise. Usually you can't put those on when you have that. Uh, right. Uh, I think we're just missing the power supply and we would be golden, right? All right, uh, let's go with some white cables. Where are you at? There you go. Let's not forget about you. And... You. And of course, the fans. <laughs> Alright, I feel like that should be pretty darn good. <clears throat> So let's put the side panels back on. Let's get a rolling, shall we? I kind of want to see what this puppy can do. It is looking pretty fine. All right. Boot her up and start with a little bit of overclocking. That's how I like to start my day by doing a little bit of overclocking. Making sure we get the most out of it. There we go. Uh, system information, three mark. Lightning and GPU tuner and no CCT. Our lovely sets of programs. All right, and ooh, we're still under 59 dollars, so I'm guessing we can get up to 5 gigahertz here. I would love that. Yeah, we're just in the low 80s. Really good. I don't know why, but I just like seeing that 5. I guess it is because it's evening it out too, so it says 50 in the bio, so... Guess I do have a little bit of a no CD. <laughs> Not too bad though. Alright, uh, 92, pretty, pretty good. All right, and knocking this out of the park. Lovely. And I think we can go up to like 600 on memory. Maybe not. 
I'm guessing I just hit that ball too far out of the park. Uh, how about I bring it down to 500? All good? Is that all good? All right, let's see. Looks like it is actually quite close. All right. Uh, about 40. Fifty. All right. Well, I am starting to feel like we are getting close, so I'm going to start going small here. I just want to see how far we can actually take this. Can we get up to 570? No. Six hundred. Well, five hundred and sixty-eight is what I meant to say. All right. Um. Colors. I think I want to go with a nice rainbow. And maybe a kind of slow speed like that. Looks pretty good. Can never go wrong with a little bit of slow speed, right? Alright, uh, let's run a score on this. And in the meantime, we're gonna continue... Continue our little work here. Right, this is the one where I was a little confused. Because it did tell me that something was broken when I bought it. Didn't it? Yeah. Delivery of broken PC with AMD Ryzen 5. 6 core 2600X and MSI Radeon. Yeah, so... That is weird. Alright. Uh, 8,934. Awesome. Right. I uh, think you're actually done enough to uh, send away. Um, we do have an AIO in there, and we have some Intel parts, so collect. They seem great at building new PCs. Of course, we can do used ones too if you like. Alright, unlocked ourselves a supernova. All right, um...
Oh. I totally forgot to connect the cables for the graphics card. And here I was wondering why I did not get any picture. <laughs> I think that um, talks, for, talks for itself. Alright. I mean, it's kind of slow though installing it on a mechanical drive like that, but still... Yeah, I guess. It will be alright. But I, t I tell you what, I think we're gonna continue with that in the next episode. Because I feel like I should end this one off here. I do hope you have enjoyed it and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye bye!